Dear colleague, it's my pleasure to present myself, Professor Possover. I'm the founding president of the International Society of Neuropelviology, and by this room, made the pioneer work to discover the neuropelviology. And I wanted to present with this short video uh, our program in uh, neuropelviology and in advanced laparoscopic gynecology surgery, uh, including also the vaginal uh, surgery. It was already in the 19th when laparoscopic surgery was first introduced in the field of pelvic oncological surgery that the surgical world was facing inevitable change with an ever uh, increasing need to reduce the functional morbidity of radical pelvic procedure. In this concept, I had the idea of using the laparoscope to study the topographic anatomy of the pelvic nerve to study their functionality and to introduce this was a land technique for electrical stimulation of the pelvic nerve, not only in order to identify them, but most importantly, to spare them during radical pelvic surgery. With this in mind, in 1995, I developed the laparoscopic assisted nerve sparing radical vaginal hysterectomy, a modification of the radical vaginal hysterectomy according with the Schauta procedure for the treatment of the cervical cancer. And sometime later, the laparoscopic parasympathetic nerve sparing rectum resection for treatment deep and fruitating endometriosis. A further important reason for the correct identification of this pelvic nerve by laparoscopy was to facilitate the treatment of certain pathology of this nerve. And in this context, I realized at that time that the diagnostic method applied in neurology are definitely not applicable to the pelvic nerve. The location deep within the pelvis makes access for both diagnosis and therapeutic investigation extremely difficult. The palpation also can only be achieved through natural orifices, mean either via the vagina or the rectum in men. Such examination techniques are really not commonly used in neurology, of course. With more than 10 years of intense work of this field, I finally developed the concept of neuropelviology, the medicine of the pelvic nerve. And this medicine includes learning both diagnosis and treatment of the pelvic nerve with a special focus on laparoscopic pelvic neurosurgery. So I discover new ethology for pelvic neuropathic pain condition, such as compression of the nerve by a large vessel, what we call vascular entrapment, or by scar tissue, or by atypical pelvic uh, muscle fibers. Similarly, I was able to demonstrate, based on my own study of more than 300 cases operated in our department, that endometriosis of the pelvic nerve, and in particular of the sciatic nerve, is indeed much more common than had previously been estimated. It was in a way that we learned to treat all this pathology by laparoscopy using neurosurgical technique, such as nerve decompression, intrafascicular neurolysis, or the technique of implantation of stimulation electrode to the pelvic nerve, a technique we call the Lyon procedure. And the star and among the various Lyon procedures, so not the most complex, is the Possover procedure, which consists of the implantation of such stimulation electrode to the pelvic nerve in people with spinal cord injury for recovery of walking, um, walking motion. So the next logical step in all this evolution clearly became the realization of a neuropathologic education program with professional supervision. So it was that in 2014, uh, the ESGA annual congress in Brussels, that in collaboration with a few select and very highly skilled surgeon friends in uh, the field of retroperitoneal laparoscopy, I created the Internal Society of Neuropelvology, also more commonly known as the Eisen. At the same time, it became a top priority to create an educational platform for training in both the diagnosis approach in neuropelvology as well as laparoscopic neuropelvological procedure. So to this end, my wife and me 
we founded the International School for Neuropathology in 2008. And this institute focuses currently on training and research in neuropathology, but not only. It focuses also on teaching and training advanced laparoscopic gynecological uh, procedure, including vaginal procedure, especially the radical vaginal hysterectomy, the Shouta procedure. Within this education framework, we have developed a curriculum in neuropathology which consists of a three-level training program. The first level course consists of learning the neurofunctional pelvic neuroanatomy and neuropathological diagnostic method. This course focuses on an essential and in-depth knowledge of the topographic and functional anatomy of the pelvic nerves, both the autonomic and the somatic nerve. And this anatomical knowledge is essential for comprehending the next most important pillar in neuropathology, the neuropathological diagnosis. The quality of the therapy and its long-term results depend only and directly on an accurate diagnosis. Etiological and differential diagnosis workups in neuropathology consists of a mixture of diagnosis techniques normally used in different specialist fields, such as neurology, neurourology, neurosurgery, gynecology, and other specialities, which in neuropathology are combined and adapt to the pathology of the pelvic nerves. This diagnosis step may be for a little too theoretical and perhaps tedious for some skilled surgeon, but it is absolutely essential. The quality of the neuropathological treatment depends directly on this diagnosis step, much more uh, so than on the surgery, uh, surgeon skill. If an operator exposes the wrong nerve or plays an electrode on an inappropriate nerve, his operation may be uh, very exquisite, but it will not improve the patient condition at all. This level one certi certification should, uh, by the through, uh, not be exclusively reserved for neuropathologists in training, but rather should form part of the regular diagnosis toolbox of any physician involved in treating pelvic pain and functional disorder of the pelvic organs. This first level course can be done at home, at your own convenience, on your own com computer, and in your own time. It's based on a series of explanatory videos, as well as a manual in neuropathology. I highly recommend and study the manual uh, in neuropathology very, very carefully before starting on the explanatory videos. This course ends with an online examination, which, if paced successfully, leads to a certificate in clinical neuropathology and opens the door for further training in level two and level three neuropathology. The second level course is in the form of a workshop conducted in small groups with an indeed lecture and practical laparoscopic surgery on human cadavers. The lecture serves to explain the required anatomical and surgical knowledge, but also serves to review and explore the skill already acquired in level one with regard to the diagnosis in neuropathology. This course teaches laparoscopic techniques for the exposure, exposure of the pelvic nerve and plexus and provides the necessary knowledge for surgical expertise in nerve sparing surgery of the pelvis and for different techniques of laparoscopic neurosurgery to the pelvic nerve, including the technique of implantation of stimulation electrode to, this, to the pelvic nerve. Then, because this procedure is definitely not the most difficult procedure in neuropathology. Laparoscopic surgery on to more of the pelvic nerve or endometriosis of the pelvic nerve belongs to level three, a much more difficult procedure. 
As part of this second level course, we also train some techniques for pelvic nerve infiltration. These techniques are not only crucial to the diagnosis process in neuropelvology, but are also used in some treatments of the, this condition as well. And at least in view of the current uh, change in, in the surgical treatment of cervical cancer, and, and I mean the LAC study, it seems to me to have become imperative to also use this course to teach colleague gynecologists the technique of radical vaginal hysterectomy, the Schauter procedure. The laparoscopic assistance of the Schauter procedure makes its uh, intervention easier, safer, and provide a better sparing of the pelvic nerve using the laparoscopic magnification, which is necessary at least for the parotid and pelvic lymphonodectomy. Indeed, in, when we started out working in the 19 on the laparoscopic approach to cervical and uterine cancer surgery, our goal was never to try to develop a technique of laparoscopic vertam procedure, but rather to preserve the vaginal approach, the Schauter procedure, the radical vaginal hysterectomy according to the Schauter Stöckel pro procedure, and to combine this beautiful procedure with a laparoscopic approach for lymphonodectomy, for preservation of the pelvic nerves uh, during resection of the upper part of the parametrion, but the lower paracolpium resection is still done via the vaginal route. This being much easier, safer, and much more radical than the abdominal route. All these previous studies from the past, from more or less one century, that have compared the Schauta and the Wertheim procedure have clearly demonstrated the superiority of the vaginal room in terms of both morbidity and survival rate, um, at least when the pelvic lymph nodes are negative. Let us remember what Wertheim himself said. Would there have been a way to remove the lymph node without the need of the abdominal root at the beginning of the last century? He would never have developed his intervention, but would have continued to remain faithful to the intervention developed by his master, Professor Schauter. More, remember, in third world country where the incidence of cervical cancer is highest and where our oncological guidelines are definitely not financially feasible in this, this country, radical hysterectomy is generally the only therapeutic option even when it is only palliative. Robotic surgery in this country is not an option and is because it's far too expensive. Laparotomy is definitely an option, and mostly the only option there, but vaginal surgery is even more so. It is definitely not without any reason that Subalt Mitra in India carry out the Shauta procedure in the city of Calcutta by managing uh, cervical cancer in poor people. So, dear colleague, finally, I strongly encourage you to take the step in the field of advancing pelvic surgery of the pelvic organ and of the pelvic nerve, the control organ on all pelvic organs. So, the neuropelvology. Will you welcome to the International School of Neuropelvology? And I hopefully you will enjoy our teaching and training program of the Internal Society of Neuropelvology. See you and good luck.